Hello guys, welcome back to the Karanjas. I hope you guys are doing good from wherever you are. And as we had promised, in this video, we are going to look at all the requirements of the DV photo. And then we are going to show you how you can edit the photo and which software you can use to do that. So to begin with, we are going to start with the requirements of the DV photo. The size of the photo should be two by two or 51 by 51 millimeters. That is the same thing, two by two inches, which is equals to 51 by 51 millimeters. The, the next requirement is the head to the chin should occupy the biggest space. So at least, they say at least 60%. So when you're taking that photo, you should make sure you are from your head to your chin, occupy most space of that photo. So what they mean by that is that this part from your shoulders below is not occupying the bigger percentage of that photo. The other requirement is the photo should be six months less old. So the photo should be at least six months old, not more than six months. That is straightforward. The other one is they don't need earrings on the photos. They don't need your glasses. They prefer you being natural. So if you can be natural, that is one of the requirements. They want to make sure this photo reflects you and how you look when you are natural. So the other thing is you can make facial expression like, like emojis or you can like smile. You have to be on your natural state. The other thing you have to focus on the camera. So you have to face the camera straight. You cannot look up, down, sideways. You have to face direct to the camera and your face have to show the whole face, including both ears. So sometimes that is tricky because some people, when you are on your straight nature, you can only see one ear. So in such a case, that is where we can improvise something like a cotton wool, put it behind the ears as long as nobody can see the cotton wool when you take the photo, then your both ears can be shown on the photo. So the other thing is the photo have to be 600 by 600 pixels that's the quality of that photo the photo have to be quality and the other thing is the photo have to be in jpeg format that is the format of the photo so it cannot be pdf it cannot be anything else apart from jpeg and it has to be 240 kilobytes or less than that so not more than 240 kilobytes. If you try to upload something that is more than 240 kilobytes, it will not be accepted even when you are initially applying. It will just show you that file is too large. So the other thing is the background. The background have to be white. No shortcut. If the background is not white, then you have to make sure you use a software that can make that background white. And that's what I'm gonna show you when we go through the editing. You can change the background of a photo that wasn't white to be white. So the other thing is the color of the clothes you are wearing should not match the background. So if you are wearing, if the background is white, you want to avoid 
wearing something that is white that is not gonna show you the borders of your body that's what they mean by that so your eyes should be open that is something common you cannot close your eyes and then we cannot have shadows on that photo the photo have to be very clear the quality as i have said have to be the best quality no shadows no nothing like that one side brighter than the other one no it should be a quality photo so having said that now we are going to go to the next step of editing the photo and i'm going to show you the software that you're going to use when you're editing your photo so stay tuned as we go to the computer and walk you through that now that we are on the computer we are going to start with the tool where you check your photo and the tool is provided by the u.s department of state so you can just google dv photo checker but you have to choose the one that is provided by the d department of state government so and this is the tool so here you can be able to upload your photo and check whether it needs anything apart from what you have if the photo is good it's just gonna tell you you don't need to do anything we are going to check with one of the photos that i have here an example of this photo you say the tool says your photo does not need cropping when you look at this photo it meets all the requirement of the 600 by 600 pixel the photo quality is very clear the whole face can be seen and that's why this photo meets the requirement and the background too is white it doesn't need to be changed but there is one tricky thing with this website let's choose a different photo that need a lot of editing and we can see this is just an example of a photo so this tool is recommending you to do an automatic cropping if you went ahead and cropped this photo the way it is and applied the dv you will be disqualified and this is the reason this doesn't check mostly the background of the photo that's when you need another software that can be able to change that background to be white it only checks the size of the photo so we are going to go to canva and edit this same photo so that we can come back and test it and proceed so when you go to canva you go to canva you will go to home you will be at, when you open canva the first time it will take you to home home and then you'll say create design this time you want to customize your design and this is where i am when you go to the customize button you're going to start by changing the inches and you're going to do two by two inches which is required you can also do millimeters if that is what you want to use and then you'll say create your design so this box will guide you now on the size of the photo so when you come to your camera roll here you can be able to pull that same photo that we are editing here and now you can edit this photo from the background to the size so that's what we are going to do right now this photo as you see as we had said the the head and the chin should cover the most part of the photo not the shoulders 
and that's what we are trying to do right now and then we're gonna try and expand this photo to fit in that box so that our size can be equally distributed so it can fit that size remember that size that we want so let's see if we are there so you can see it has to be inside the box so that it meets the requirement now that's perfect but we still need to edit the the background so when you want to edit the background you will come and click the same photo you can go to editing that will make the changes or on this new canva the background remover is there you just click on it just click on the background remover and it will remove the background as you see we have cream and now you see we have the white photo look at that photo look at the difference between that photo and the previous photo the previous photo can be able to bring it up on the side and you can see the difference look at the difference so this was some brown now we have the white we're going to delete that one because we don't need it for now so now we have this photo we want to download this photo this photo meet the background the face although the photo is taken with the chin a little bit facing up so the person who took the photo I told them to take another one face with the chin facing straight so they are going to send another photo with the chin facing and focusing the eyes focusing the camera and not looking a little bit up but that is not the issue for now so you are going to download this photo I'm going to click there and say save this photo have to be in which form don't forget jpeg we had already walked through that we said the photo have to be jpeg and the photo have to have specific the photo have to be specific size of kb which is less than 240 so let's continue you are going to make the quality you see we have the 600 by 600 you're going to increase the quality to 100 you want a quality photo and then you're going to download that photo that photo will download and you can be able to open it when it is complete so we are going to go to downloads and we have that photo this is the photo now we have edited and this is the photo that we are supposed to use when applying for the DV if we go back to the photo checker this is the previous one we had you choose a new photo and then we check this photo and now we see your photo does not need cropping because it meets all the requirements and those are the the things that you need to do if you are thinking of editing your photo checking is easy but if you have to edit that photo you can use canva canva is the most recommended software you might need to subscribe to canva but there is another way you can do it you can take the seven day free trial version and you'll be able to edit your photo and after that you don't have to sign up for canva and yeah i think up to there if you have any question on how to edit your photo you can comment down there and we are going to look on to that the photo editing and checking have started today and i'm going to be sending you back your email if you need to edit your photo if i edit your photo i can send it back to you if the photo is okay i'll just write an email to you and tell you you don't need to do anything to that photo so yeah that's all for 
the photo editing thanks for watching that was all for today's video i hope we have covered the specifics of the photos and all the specs that are required when editing the photo and as we have always done my software had a problem so i wasn't able to edit some photos but beginning now i have already fixed the problem and moving forward we are going to be checking the photos and editing them where we can